Hey folks, welcome to this short introduction into some of the concepts around Mad Maps. A uh, Unity asset for the terrain system now on the Unity asset store. This is where I try to answer two very simple questions. What does this tool do exactly and uh, do you need it in your workflow? So a bit of quick backstory. Mad Maps is a child of Hurt World an open world survival game for PC. Hurt World is a big and complex game and the maps in it are no different. Your average Hurt World map is about 8 kilometers squared um, and with multiple biomes and unique areas, landmarks, countless objects, vegetation, complex flat and detail maps. Basically just everything is really complicated. Now, everyone who's seriously gotten into open world level design knows that it is hard to get right. But uh, without Mad Maps, making levels like the ones in Hurt World, with the speed that the team can make them, would be completely impossible. So, uh, while we were making these very complex levels, we ran into some pretty massive issues. We tried every tool under the sun but we could never really find one that solved all of these issues. Firstly, so there was this problem of combining procedural generation with handcrafted polish. We didn't want to manually place every tree, splat, and detail. We wanted to procedurally generate a base environment and then add our towns, landmarks, tweak things here and there. And this would be fine, uh, but the problem arises when you want to go back to, say, the procedural generation, the first thing we did, and change something as small as, say, a slightly more grass in Biome X. And when you did this, you'd lose every single piece of handcrafting that you'd done on the terrain. And the thing with complex level design is that it's all about iteration, and it's very sensitive to small changes. You know, often we'd realize things like we needed all of our valleys to be 30% smaller. But to do that, we had to repeat hours and hours of work almost identically. So uh, this kind of pipeline, this kind of workflow is called a destructive workflow. But going back and changing an earlier decision destroys the work you did after that decision. And I don't need to tell you, it's, it's absolutely crippling uh, to you and your team's ability to iterate. So we needed a solution that allowed us to work completely non-destructively. We wanted to be able to change anything at any point uh, in the pipeline and not have to spend hours and hours redoing work. Uh, secondly, so if you're working with a team, then the ability to collaboratively work on an asset is really critical, especially when it's a super complex and massive level. With current tools, there's just no good way to, say, grab a piece of your terrain with every bit of information you need, pass it off to a colleague uh, to work on, and eventually reintegrate that work back into your scene while you also are working on that scene. Sure, you can do things like uh, work with multiple terrains and allocate a terrain to each person, but usually your level design doesn't play this nice, and you're going to want to slice your world up a lot more organically than that. Uh, so it's, it's almost impossible to collaborate in parallel in a team with the Unity terrain with the current workflows available. So secondly, we, need, we needed something that allowed us to collaborate however we wanted and however the game design demanded. Uh, so thirdly, what we found while well, we went through this four-year process of exploring pretty much every terrain tool out there is that really there, there is no one-size-fits-all solution. Some tools do some things really well and others other things really well. And if you want to take advantage of that and combine tools, that's often really difficult. So we wanted something that allowed us to combine all the different and awesome terrain tools and allow them to work together. Finally, the terrain tool, like the Unity terrain, just doesn't do very well with certain tasks like, say, creating smooth paths or... Um, and we, want, we wanted really kind of ambitiously complex road networks. 
And frankly, we didn't really find anything particularly compelling when we were exploring the existing assets out there. Too often they were closed source, uh, inflexible or just overbearing in their management of the terrain information. So we needed a tool for building these complex road networks. Uh, so the good news is we solved all of these issues and the result is Mad Maps. Now Mad Maps is actually three systems all in one package. The, the core innovation that really changed everything was creating a layer system for the Unity terrain, which we call the Terrain Wrapper. Think of this kind of like layers in a regular uh, image editing package. Instead of drawing directly onto your canvas, you instead write to individual layers and then blend and combine those layers to create a final image. Uh, in exactly the same way here, you're writing terrain information into different layers and then blending and combining them into one final result. This uh, means that for instance, you can isolate procedural generation into one base layer and then your handcrafted elements into a layer above and then you can easily update this base layer without losing any of the handcrafting. Now the, uh, the next two systems are kind of extensions of this terrain wrapper core architecture. The first is uh, world stamps. Now, world stamps are uh, basically, they, they, they solve a lot of the issues around collaboration and iteration. They're a complete copy paste system for the terrain, but they're, they're a lot more than that. Uh, you can capture a part of your terrain, including prefab objects, and generate a prefab that contains that data, which we call a world stamp. You can then take that stamp and duplicate it, paste it, uh, onto the same terrain or onto a different terrain. Uh, you can save it as a prefab for later use. Um, so it's really great for uh, splitting up your level into these modular little chunks that are much more easy to uh, both edit individually and then combine into a final product. Um, you can blend multiple stamps together intelligently. Say you've got like two uh, hills that are contained in, in two separate stamps, you can, you can intersect those stamps and they will, they'll combine intelligently. So you can uh, blend an arbitrary amount of stamps onto a single layer or have an arbitrary amount of stamps writing to an arbitrary amount of layers. And um, it's a pretty intelligent system and they write their information to the terrain wrapper layers. So it's this completely non-destructive workflow. Um, for instance, you can you know, shift these stamps around, uh, you shift your mountain just like a foot to the right, uh, and you don't have to redo anything. You just click a button and it all kind of regenerates and rewrites to this final output of the terrain. Uh, so finally, we uh, built a pretty cool road system that can do things like deform the terrain, create deformed road meshes along a spline. Uh, it supports intersections. And of course it does all this in this terrain wrapper layer architecture. So again, completely non-destructive workflow. Uh, it's got this components, component based system uh, and it's easily extensible. So you can basically define any kind of road that you can imagine very easily. It's actually, uh, got a lot of general use cases as well, apart from roads. It's pretty much a, a do anything you can really imagine along a spline to a terrain tool. Um, so for instance, you can do things like plant a tree line, plant a row of trees, or create a river, or create power lines. The, the possibilities are really endless with this tool. Um, so this was a really brief, overview of kind of the core concepts of Mad Maps. Uh, check out the other videos for some actual uh, footage of the tool in action. Uh, we should have a lot more of those up soon as well as some uh, getting started uh, videos and resources. And uh, check us out on the Unity forums. We've got an active Discord. Um, and yeah, but so in summary, I guess, if, if you're working on a very complex level, with the Unity terrain, and you want to be able to iterate on that level without losing hours and hours of work, 
then I think Mad Maps is a really, really invaluable tool for you. I think it can save you a lot of time in that iteration process. And if you're working in a team, then honestly, I, I do not know another solution out there that offers this ability to collaborate uh, like Mad Maps does, to collaborate in a team and to break your level up into these modular components that can be split up and recombined. Uh, and yeah, if, if you're just looking to play around as well, it's, it's a fun tool to uh, play around with. So uh, yep, thanks for watching.